Today, I'm really, really happy to show you for the very first time our new high end GPU for gamers and creators AMD Radeon 7. Radeon 7 is the second generation Vega graphics core. It is the world's first 7 nanometer gaming GPU. Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Now, AMD just finished announcing at their CES event their next generation and the world's first 7 nanometer graphic card. Now, the Radeon 7 will be priced at 699 US dollars and compete directly with Nvidia's RTX 2080. Radeon 7 is based on the Vega architecture, of course, with refinements and shrunken down on a 7 nanometer node. Now, you will be able to get this card February 7th. Now, AMD claims that for gaming, it will be competitive with the RTX 2080 and outperforming it in many titles as well. Now for content creation, we see a 27 to 62% increase in performance versus the previous generation Vega 64. Now the RTX 2080 can be found for around $700 to $850 in the market currently. The $699 price tag for 16 gigabytes of HBM2 makes this GPU somewhat future proof and a great value for enthusiasts and creators alike. Now I'm just going to run down the specifications of this card for you guys. It comes with 60 compute units, 3,840 stream processors, running it up to 1.8 gigahertz. Of course, the 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, one terabyte memory bandwidth, and a 4,096 bit memory interface. Now, the 16 gigabytes of HBM2 will be so beneficial for games that are running 4K resolution with 4K textures or anything that is bandwidth intensive. If you pre order, you get three free games Resident Evil 2 Remake. The Division 2 and Devil May Cry 5. These games are a value of $150, effectively making the Radeon 7 GPU $550. AMD did show us the Radeon 7 GPU in action, running Forza Horizon 4 and Devil May Cry 5, where the latter performed well over 80 frames per second at 4K resolution. We got a little bit of information on Ryzen 2. We got confirmation that it's a chiplet design, and it looks like the clocks go well over 4 gigahertz. It will be released the second half of 2019 so as we approach the second quarter more information should be released now i think they will hit the upper four gigahertz range i think they'll be 4.8 4.9 it'd be great to see it at five but to be honest with you guys anything 4.7 and above i would be happy with now they also showed promising performance at 1080p with the new zen processors amd also announced a partnership with microsoft as phil spencer took to the stage and spoke about x cloud at the event phil said that they have more announcements to make with AMD later this year. Now the takeaway I got is that AMD is back in the high-end GPU market. Greater performance in the RTX 2080 is fantastic. 7 nanometers should address the heat and power issues that Vega 64 had and AMD said that they would announce more hardware later this year so I would expect some Navi announcements closer to the summer. Now with Microsoft partnering with AMD and them being confident that they will have the benchmark for console technology in the next generation, I believe the next Xbox will have Navi while the PlayStation 5 will have a 7 nanometer Vega 2 GPU. Now both are very capable of 4K 60 frames per second, but Navi will just be a generation ahead in my opinion. Now I could be wrong, so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I will also leave a link for AMD CES live stream that I did earlier today so you guys can see it in its entirety. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about AMD's Radeon 7 GPU. Will you pre-order or will you wait for Navi? Please leave your comments down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.